Welcome back to episode three of MIDI TV. Now today we have another three brilliant acts to share with you. We've got the haunting Small Town Jones, the powerful Shake the Geek and the soulful Ruby Mae Spencer. Now all three of these acts are going to be performing live for you today. I get to interview them and at the end of the show they go head to head fighting to the death in the MIDI TV Pac-Man challenge. We just want to say to all of you guys at home watching this a huge thank you for being so generous, following us on our MIDI TV YouTube channel, talking about it and sharing it across your social media platforms. So please do keep doing that. That's enough talking. Let's hear some music. Hi, I'm Small Town Jones and this song's called Freight Ships. No man is really an island, more like a freight ship Trying to do all he can just to stay afloat He's filling up his whole life with things he's not needing Taking on too much weight, it's gonna sink the boat I stay on the phone to stop me feeling lonely How long do I stare at the screen for the ache is gone With all these people here, well, who really knows me Gonna get myself back home where I belong When all about friendship All I know is you are something true There's nothing I could own that could ever come close to What it is I have when I'm with you Hello Jim Jones Small Town Jones, welcome to MIDI TV. Um, Jim, I met you a few years ago when we actually toured together, which was amazing fun, and we bullied our way onto stage with you, trying to get into your songs every night because we love your beautiful, gravelly voice, and there's you can see why so many people are huge followers of what you do. Um, I found a few quotes on some of your music that I just thought were lovely, that your songs are about life's important moments. I love that. And you've got new material at the moment, haven't you? So please tell us about your new material. Yeah, so I'm uh, in the process of writing a new album um, and I've got probably eight or nine songs sort of ready to be recorded. I've recorded a couple already and just put them out as a small EP. 
uh, on Bandcamp. And uh, yeah, when I've got enough enough together, I think I'm going to make a full album out of them. So brilliant! You need to make that album definitely. Yeah. So putting them out on Bandcamp, why why choose Bandcamp as a musician? Why is that important to you? So at the moment, Bandcamp seems to have musicians' backs a bit more than most platforms. I think the the, yeah, the streaming sites are sort of it's it's you know it's not. It's no secret that they're not that supportive of musicians in terms of the profits that they, they take and that musicians tend not to get. So Bandcamp just looked like one of the best platforms really to support musicians and, uh, and uh, yeah, give us the best buck for our, for our goods. Absolutely. And lots, lots of bands have been doing that as well, haven't they? Especially over the last year. Yeah. Um, so you've got, you've got a big following. You've got a very, very loyal crowd. You've had bits on TV, bits on radio, including you've got quite a big supportive fan in Mr. Dermot O'Leary. How did that come about? It was just a, it was a bit of a hit and a hope thing, really. It was, um, I'd, we, we'd recorded the album Freight Ships. And uh, I was doing the, the sort of, you know, spam everyone you know and then spam everyone else you know and <laughs> yep. sending cheeky, <laughs> cheeky emails and, you know, uh, and I sent an email with that song attached to Freight Ships, a song attached to it, to his producer and uh, he got back and said he liked it and wanted to play it. They played it on the on the radio show, which was just amazing. And I was like thinking, oh, great, you know, some airplay. So cheeky email again was like, why okay. not? Don't ask, you don't if you, if you ever want us to come on the Saturday sessions, you know, the live sessions, we'd love to do it, thinking, what are the chances of that happening? And, and sure enough, I was sat at work and the email pinged through and um, we got invited onto his show to play. As you do. And Dermot he's... O'Leary just emailing you. Yeah. But it came about again, didn't it, just a few months ago? Yeah, so, um, so recently, with my, with my most recent release, uh, what happened? I can't remember how it came about, to be fair. He, he, with Sky Down to the Ground, he, he invited us back on after I sent him another cheeky email saying, this is my new album. So he, Love he these cheeky back. emails. Yeah, you got, you've <laughs> got to send cheeky. In the music you industry, do. you need you to be really cheeky do. and send cheeky. I mean, it used to be that you'd have these sort of packs that you could send out, wouldn't they? Yeah, and you'd get your CD packs. and your, everything together and you'd make it look special so it'd stand out to the, the PR guys. But nowadays, it's just che how cheeky you can be yeah. in an email. With yeah. Dermot O'Leary. With Dermot O'Leary. Why not? And he responds well to it. Um, I like that though. We, it's, that's given you um, just an extra step on the ladder, hasn't it? And given you a reach to so many more people, which is what we all need. I think, I think all these things you've got, you know, yeah, they become things that you use in terms of opening doors. So, it yeah. became, you know, that's a very, it's a big connection to have. So when people see that, I mean, some people probably close the door to be fair and start thinking... <laughs> But yeah, I think it's been really good for me. It's been really, I mean, it's been, you know, it's been so supportive. Yeah, it's been massively supportive. I think um, as a musician here in Devon, I think you're brilliant at including um, friends of yours who are musicians. You reach out to people really well and you do lots of collaborations. So more recently, on a kind of more homegrown level, you've been doing your fireside sessions yeah. from your home in Nethercott? Nethercott. Nethercott, well, near yeah. Braunton. Um, and this has just grown and grown and it's been lovely and it's gained such success for you and for everybody involved I think so you've had people like Dave Little that you perform with um, Nick Parker you've had Amy from Saunton Road Studios Amy Newton yeah um, tell us a little bit about that how many you did for well, example it, it started back at when we first went into lockdown and I and um, someone mentioned about the idea of live streaming and it was kind of a bit, oh live streaming who does that you know <laughs> yeah did one and then it was sort of led, lent onto two and then I sort of thought, okay, I'll perhaps do this weekly. And then I thought, man, people are just going to get bored of hearing my songs. Never. And I just thought, actually, it would be really nice to invite some friends, you know, yeah. and try and feature people. So I'd do like a little introduction and then go to their place and they would live stream from their place. So yeah, Nick and Amy and Mike Stocks and a few other, Dave Little. I just got a few friends involved that was nice to sort of include really and just yeah. take it away from me a little bit every week and then... But it's, it's the best way to do it, isn't it? I just think it's just, you know, in a time where musicians and particularly the arts, you know, all feel fairly, you know, under underappreciated, things were sort of falling away from us. It just felt like we've got to sort of rally around this community and try and just yeah. help each other feel like, you know, we've still got some value and still, still look out for each other. And definitely. And on that note, I think um, you've been sharing something recently on your social media about fighting for the closure of a, of a local music venue yeah. in Barnstable. Um, so 
we would need people to fight for these venues in the future, wouldn't we? I think it's brilliant that that's something you share and encourage other people to get behind. Um, musicians need that platform to perform from, so good on you for sharing those things. Um, going back to the fireside sessions, um, you've, you've had so many um, different people involved, but also you've had this little lad, that little excitable <laughs> lad that was buying your merch. Um, everybody needs to buy that merch. If it, if it makes you as happy as that little boy, get on board and buy <laughs> this man's merch. Where can we find your music and your merch? Um, so my merch and my music is all on Bandcamp. That's the best place to go for it. Um, Yes, www.bandcamp, Small Town Jones. And there might even be a picture of Ollie on there holding up his fa favourite poster that he's been sent. He's in California, Ollie, in, uh, during the whole Fireside sessions. It was so much fun to sort of... Because obviously live streaming is not just local, so there are people yeah. tune in and friends tune in from different countries. And uh, yeah, he became a fan in, uh, from a friend's child in, in California. He's out in, in sort of L.A., um, but sent me just some, some of the most funny little videos like that, that not everyone legend. got to see actually, but some of them were just hilarious. Been playing these little ukulele and singing songs to me, so it's kind of. Oh, that's what it's all start. about. Yeah. Sharing your music. I just, I just think, you know, as much as I think people got a lot out of the fireside sessions, I got so much out of, out of that connectivity, you know, just feeling yeah. like I was still part of something and these relationships are so important to us. And that's what it's all about because you're brilliant at connecting with your fans and reaching out to your fan base. Um, so make sure that you go online today to look for Small Town Jones on all his social media channels. Thank you so much for joining us today, Thanks, Jim, Evan. on MIDI TV. Hey, Devon, we're Shake the Geek, and this is Breathe on My Own. I love you because we make a perfect home, but I will still be breathing when I'm alone. When I play it solo, I like my song But I can't help but smile when you sing along And it's my life, I won't hide Not taking the back seat, I'm standing on my feet I love you cause we make a perfect hole We got matching tones, but when you're not on the phone I will breathe on my own
I'm going away cause I like to keep you guessing and flying the way Just one way, just my way, just one way, just my way, just one way from Hi. Shake the Geek. Welcome to MIDI TV. Thank you. So Shake the Geek is made up of yourself and Finn, Fletch and Freedom. Yes. Um, you guys are making quite a stir on the Devon music scene and you've really utilised the last year of, um, let's call it freedom, the last year to do what you like and you released a single not so long ago. So tell us about that. Yeah, we released uh, Breathe On My Own um, about a year ago now actually. It seems like just yesterday but um, yeah, we were kind of holding off releasing it because we thought, oh, lockdown, and then um, we were like, no, we've just got to do it. Um, and it's, it's a song that really kind of marks a new era of Shape the Geek and a kind of mature uh, um, era of, um, of us, and we're really, really proud of it. Um, yeah. <laughs> and it's a brilliant song. It's a, it's a big, powerful number, and there's a great music video to support it as well. Where did you film that music video? We filmed that music video in our childhood primary school in our village. So they had a, they had a like their sports hall, and then the little cupboard where they keep all the like sweaty gym equipment, and we cleared that out, <laughs> and that's where we filmed the video. Because <laughs> there were some behind the scenes bits with a, um, is it Fletch on guitar, and you posted something recently. So that's in the gym cupboard. Yes. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it, it actually looks quite edgy in there. It does. <laughs> yeah. All music videos need to be filmed in the gym cupboard. <laughs> um, so I've been doing a little bit of stalking of you guys on your social media platforms and you've recently been releasing A Day in the Life Of, yeah, yeah. which I love. It's my new <laughs> thing now and I need to, I need to know more. Uh, so you guys have all taken turns to film um, A Day in the Life of yourselves, mm. um, but it's, it has a really good comedy edge to it. Is that something important that you want to share with your fans? Yeah, I mean, our, our YouTube is, you know, not taking ourselves too seriously, just kind of, because we don't, you know, when, when we're on stage, of course, we're serious and we've got our leather jackets on and stuff, but when we're off stage, we just like have fun and that's kind of a big part of Shake the Geek, we're all just mates. So that's kind of what we wanted to show on our YouTube. So yeah, that little comedy element is just kind of, fun I guess. It is fun it's really good and it sort of fits the name as well that you're right that there's yeah. this there's this edge to you guys um, but also it's in the title there um, that there is this sort of fun um, geeky side yeah, as well exactly. which I absolutely <laughs> love. Um, so remember guys to subscribe to their YouTube channel and where else can we find you guys Ella? Uh, Facebook and Instagram and all that jazz just shake the geek um, yeah, that's about, that's about it online, I think. Brilliant. We've got a website as well, actually. But, um, and that's something you guys um, really push is the merch side of things, yeah. don't you? So you have a slogan, I've written it here, get the t-shirt and join the club. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. That's brilliant because people want to feel part of what you're selling, don't exactly, they? Exactly, yeah. It's so cool when we see people come into our gigs wearing our, wearing our merch and stuff. It's just... It's so cool. <laughs> it's part of the excitement, building that fan base. And you really are doing well at building the fan base. You've been um, supporting some fantastic bands. You've been linked to people like Reef. Uh, you supported the mighty Pattern Pusher, another Exeter bass band at the, was it the Exeter Phoenix? Exeter Phoenix, yeah, that was a great gig. Yeah. That was so fun. Because <laughs> their fans are great. Like, they're, they're so fun. <laughs> it's a good mix as well. I think, those, yeah. I think you guys would work well together. I can see why that would be so successful. Um, so where are you guys performing next? Well, our next gig is actually up in London, in Camden, um, on the 21st of May. So that'll be a social dis social distance one um, at St Pancreas Church, I think it is. Which is beautiful. It's a really beautiful venue, yeah. And so that's Camden Live, isn't it? Cam yeah, with Camden Live. With Camden Live. And that's going to be, you'll be posting about that on your social media. Yeah, certainly, yeah. And on your website as well. Fantastic. So 
I want to know, that's what you guys are up to now. You've had a busy year. You haven't shied away because of lockdown at all. You've kept yourself so, so busy and a brilliant social media presence. But where do you see yourself in the next few years as a band? Where do you want to be? Really want to be just touring, touring around and just playing loads of different places. I think that's, that's you know, the dream definitely is just to be able to play every day together, you know. Oh, that's amazing. And it will happen because you guys are everywhere and it's, it's really, it feels like there's a real buzz around you guys, which is great. So thank you so much, Ella, for joining us here today it's on right. Mini TV. Thanks for having me. My name is Ruby Mae Spencer and this is my track, Bad Dreams. People had warned me that you wouldn't stay but the way that you held me Thought there'd be no way you'd stray You keep on coming back, you keep on trying Convince me to trust you, then walk out my life I don't know why I deserve this, I'm tired Tired of hurting and tired of crying Is this a nightmare? Someone Wake me from this deep sleep I'm willing to lie here Cause I won't believe that this ain't a bad dream Ain't a bad dream Ain't a bad dream Ain't a bad dream Hold me baby why don't you hold me? Don't leave me lonely, baby. All you gotta do is show me, baby. You keep on coming back, you keep on trying. Convince me to trust you, then walk out my life. I don't know why I deserve this, I'm tired. Tired of hurting and tired of crying. Is this a nightmare? Wake me from this deep sleep I'm willing to lie here Cause I won't believe that this ain't a bad dream Is this a nightmare? Someone can wake me from this deep sleep I'm willing to lie here Cause I won't believe that this ain't a bad dream Ain't a bad dream Ain't a bad dream Ain't a bad dream Ruby Mae Spencer, welcome to MIDI TV. Um, Ruby, I've known you for a long, long time now. You're an Exeter girl. I've known you since you were about this big, doing vocal lessons with Hannah Wood, a good friend of mine, on to um, open mic sessions all over the city, across Devon. You've been at different festivals. You then went on to the Southwest Music School, yeah. is that right? And then um, forming a band, Ruby, a few years ago, and now more recently, a solo project with your brother. So has music always been in your life? Yeah, my whole family are musical. My mum was a dancer when she was younger. My oh. granddad used to play with Bob Marley, like a long time ago in Kingston. That's amazing. Well, that'll do it then. That will inspire you. Yeah. Um, but no, like it's always been around. I've always wanted to be famous in some sense. So I remember in primary school, we'd dress up as what we wanted to be when we were older. And I'd just come in my little outline by out of the black and be famous. I didn't know what for yet. <laughs> but, <laughs> You don't need to know that when you're <laughs> little. Know, but it's what I want. <laughs> well, how amazing that you had those thoughts as a little girl and then you just so happen to have this incredible voice so you've got the talent to support the dream. Um, 
Now, your band Ruby, that was a few years ago, and I know that that's not a, a project that you're pursuing anymore, but definitely would have given you skills to learn to collaborate with different people, and um, absolutely part of your musical journey. I saw online that you guys performed at HMV. Yeah, that was really cool. Tell me a bit about that, that's really exciting. Um, I can't really remember how we got involved with that, but yeah, we had a little gig uh, in the store, and like it was just really fun performing live to a crowd, signing things. Yeah. It feels quite old school as well, doesn't it, doing something like yeah, that? Yeah, it was really cool. They said if I have stuff to release and stuff, I could sell it in store, which would be really cool. That's brilliant. Yeah. I think that's really exciting. Um, so it's fair to say you've kind of gone on this musical journey the last few years. Things have changed a little bit for everybody over the last year. So you've really stripped back to your sound now, haven't you, and sort of you're setting yourself out on a different musical journey. So working with your brother, are we, are we witnessing the next um, Billie Eilish and Phineas? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <thank> you. <laughs> um, I guess my brother is kind of more into like hip hop and stuff and I'm into my R&B jazz so it's kind of a alternative mix of everything and yeah it's really fun and it's nice because I can boss them around and say exactly what I want. Is this a younger brother or older brother? Older brother. brother. Respect. Okay so there's a real fusion of these two sounds coming together yeah. then and this is something that you want to work on. I think as well everyone, uh, well not everyone, but I believe if there's sort of musicality in your family you always have that front room band with your siblings. I know I did. Me and my brother Fred had a big um, obsession with Brian Adams. Mm -hmm. it, wasn't, it wasn't the coolest but clearly here you are as an adult and you are performing with your brother which is really exciting because there's going to be this good energy between yeah. you guys so um, I for one I'm excited to see where where this sort of takes you next um, you're young you're experienced you're talented you've got quite a following as well you're a good inspiration for lots of young people here in our city and beyond um, across the sort of musical network what advice would you give to other young performers I would say to stay true to your music in your self and don't let too many people influence and tell you what to do just enjoy it and love it that's brilliant i like that don't let other people dilute what you know yeah, you've got yeah so where can we see you performing next then ruby um i'm probably going to be writing for a while and trying to get an album out with my brother and then we'll kind of see what happens when lockdown's fully lifted and Brilliant. And where can we find you on social media? We've got Facebook and Instagram, which is Ruby May Spencer, and some stuff on Spotify and SoundCloud, which is Ruby May Spencer. Excellent. So make sure you go and find her online. Thank you so much for joining us today, Ruby. Yeah, hi, Nick. <laughs>
best. Oh. <laughs> eat and run, eat and run. <laughs> you sound so nervous. You sound bad. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Is that good or how's that compared to other people? It's the best I could do. It was tense, it was really tense. <laughs> what are we on? Okay, all right. Good score or not? Can't say. Okay. Competition. Make it fair. Cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done, Ruby. That was good. You've done good. You've done really good. Oh, cool. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> noises. Okay, I'm happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> now, all three acts arrived here at the MIDI Pac-Man machine today after breezing through their vocal performances, sailing through their interviews so calmly, arriving at this machine a bag of nerves, their killer instincts focused, ready to win. Never have I seen three acts more intent on that prize. Let's see how they get on at the end of the show. Another huge thank you to our three fab acts today, Small Town Jones, Shake the Geek and Ruby Mae Spencer. It's wonderful watching them perform so composed, those beautiful musical performances, completely juxtaposed with who they are, playing Pac-Man, fierce, aggressive, competitive. It's pretty funny to watch. Again, thank you guys for supporting MIDI TV. Keep sharing and remember to support all of the musicians that we've had on here today. Even better, head over to their page and buy their music. So the last thing to do today is to announce the winner of the MIDI TV Pac-Man Challenge. And the winner is... Small Town Jones. So Small Town Jones is going to be ending the show, playing us out with another one of his tracks. Thank you for watching MIDI TV, and we'll see you again soon. Hey, I'm Small Town Jones. Uh, this is a brand new song called Perfect Imperfections. For the questions have been asked. And the future has become the past And the puzzle is complete The destination is underneath For the wisdom ever told Could build a kingdom Would it be made of gold? Would it be more like a sound? A resonation that you feel If this moment is the path Can we stay here and make it last? We are waves upon a sea Perfect imperfections of divinity want to hold you close Put all our senses under a microscope Take a vinyl from the shelf Feel every bass note deep within If this moment is the path Can we stay here and make it last? We are waves upon a sea 
perfect imperfections of divinity perfect imperfections of connectivity Perfect imperfections of infinity. 